What is up? How are my friends? How are my peeps? Yo. So this is actually just gonna be a really short video. I found some old clips that I want to show you and I'll talk about that here in a minute. And I also want to, I don't know, I, don't, I want to talk about something I think is serious and it kind of moved me. So let's get into it. This is what happens when I wear, <laughs> when I wear a hat with my hair back. So, okay, I'm probably gonna boop and boop. What's up? What? Around Thanksgiving, I was recording for a vlog episode, and I ended up losing a lot of film. I spent a good hour organizing the laptop. With that being said, you know what? This freaking hoodie's going up, man. At the time that that footage was lost, I was like going through all of the footage, like everything that I had on the laptop. I even went through it the next day and the following day to make sure that I wasn't just losing my mind. Today, searching through that computer, I stumbled upon two clips from Thanksgiving Day, like five or six clips from the week before that when Jerry and I were skating, and I, I'm just baffled. Like, how is that even possible? But on another topic, um, I wanted to do a little short snippet of me talking about things that I think are necessary. One really short one I want to just go over is I'm seeing people that are cutting off the dog's noses and ears and like posing in pictures with them. Like there's a caption that says, should these people be punished? One like equals one prayer. And it's like, how stupid do you gotta be? No, no shit. He should be punished. They should be punished. You're torturing animals. I think that's all I wanna say about the matter or I'll get like really heated. So, and I don't really wanna do that, but okay, ne next thing, next thing on all sorts of social media such as like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, on those social media sites. Lately, I've been seeing a lot of photos with captions. So they'll say things like along the lines of like only real women can do this or that. Or, or and you know, I've even seen like a few like only real men like pay for every meal, grab every check, hold the door every single time, throw their jackets down when it's raining. I'm not throwing my jacket down. But that's not even the point I want to get to. I was just being silly. The point I want to make, dude, this this lighting is really messing with my head. I feel like that's not better. <laughs> the point I want to make is that a real man or a real woman is not defined by what you do or how like how you talk. A man is born with a penis. A woman is born with a vagina, breasts, maybe. Um, sometimes there are like s like certain deformities that people go through. Same with men. That that is what makes you a like a real woman or a real man. I just I just it really irks me to see these things going on in the world. It kind of it makes me upset because the things that are saying like you're only a real woman if you like do this or that thing. That's making me think about like my girlfriend. It makes me feel like what if. Alyssa sees something like that, which usually she doesn't pay much attention to this silliness like that. But what if one day she reads that and it just happens to get to her head because she's like in a, in a moment of weakness and she's like, I guess I have to walk a great dane to be a real woman. Maybe I should go to the freaking pet store and like take a video of me like walking this great dane around the store or something silly. Like, it's ridiculous. Like, I mean, that's like kind of a silly example, but like, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? There's many examples can be used, but. I don't ever want anybody to see something like that and feel obligated to change who they are because of some stupid post or what somebody freaking says. That is silly, man. Be who you are, enjoy who you are, thrive in the expertise of you, and like never, ever, ever, ever let what someone else says about you affect the way you are. Okay, so that's the end of that. Sorry for getting all heated, but this right here is the actual footage I found on my computer. Good freaking morning. It is thanks turkey giving. And we are gonna go outside and play basketball because I haven't done that in forever. And this is my little brother. <laughs> Let's go. I'm
nights in there so we can have it like I know you're watching your thing. Oh no. Is it time? Yeah, okay? yeah, you can turn it off. Here's another. I gotta rewatch it earlier because I wasn't paying attention. What? <laughs> Nipple clamp. Or you let his video in <laughs> there. Happy Thanksgiving, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy oh, Thanksgiving, Megan. That's what I'm like. I mean, yeah. I just do phones. Look, I, this, see this scar here? That's for me doing that and not knowing there was a bone and a ham I bought. Did you step on the toe? Oh. He's excited. Okay, well, here's more uh, silverware. Boy, keep down that racket! But, Mom, we're playing tennis. I really want to thank you for tuning into this video. I, I really appreciate every view, every like, every comment, um, every subscribe. And I cannot wait to post another one. You will see possibly two short videos a week and one vlog. I hope you guys have a killer evening or morning or whatever the frick time you're... <gasps> Goodbye.